Okay, folks. Yes, I got a haircut, okay? Uh, it's my summertime mullet. And yes, I'm only accepting compliments. Let me ask you a question. Was there ever a commercial that you saw when you were a kid for like a toy or like a video game or like a shirt? <laughs> I'm sure we all have at least one, right? Toy commercials especially were incredible at making you feel like you were literally gonna die if you didn't get the product they're advertising. Obviously it wasn't just toy commercials that made you feel like that. Like I remember watching the Magic Bullet infomercial like every night before bed for some reason. Oh, you're telling me I can make fresh pico de gallo in five seconds? Well, even though I'm a child and I don't like pico de gallo because I'm not a fan of cilantro, I need the fucking magic bullet right now. Give it to me. You know how bad I wanted to fucking sit at that table with all those old people and eat whatever food they were making? Dude, I'm totally anti-gun, but I am very pro bullet, if you know what I mean. That's right. The magic bullet was just one of those things that I wanted so bad for some reason when I was younger but we're just never able to get. But the one item at the top of that list was the Fushigi Magic Gravity Ball. Okay, whoa, Fushigi Magic Gravity Ball and Magic Bullet. You put the fucking word magic in anything and I, and I want it. If I saw an ad for magic breast implants, dude, I'm getting double Ds, man. But if you've never heard of the Fushigi Magic Gravity Ball, buckle up. Let me just read here. The Fushigi Magic Gravity Ball came out in 2010. Wait, really? Okay, I thought it came out like way earlier than that. Okay, that's embarrassing as fuck because in 2010, I was 16. I was 16 years old. So while other kids were like, I, I really want my own car for my birthday. I was like, I would really like one of those magic balls, please. Yeah, I guess, I, uh, guess I'm not like other guys. This is throwing me for a loop, okay? I could have sworn I saw this commercial when I was like eight years old. I, okay, fuck. Well, I mentioned uh, Fushigi in my last video, but for whatever reason, I wanted this thing so bad. What is the Fushigi ball, Curtis? What what does it do? What's it for? Why did you want it so bad? And the Fushigi ball was basically like a, a bastardized version of uh, contact juggling. If you don't know, contact juggling is a form of juggling one or two objects without releasing them into the air. And in this article from 2010 titled Fushigi Ball Poised to be Bigger Than Snuggie's Xbox, which is a wildly bold claim. I don't know who the fuck thought it would ever be more popular than Xbox. Could you imagine instead of people streaming video games on Twitch, it's just people fucking playing with an orb? Having a late night sesh with the boys, you got your headset on, right? And you're just fucking... But this article states that uh, the guy who made Fushigi, uh, he saw a video of contact juggling on the internet and saw an untapped market. So they made their own version of it uh, and tweaked it a bit and uh, rebranded it as the Fushigi Magic Gravity Ball. And then they made a commercial. Fushigi! They just went all in on the marketing. They went crazy. And I think the best way to learn about the Vushigi is to watch the full commercial. So let's watch it. You're about to be mesmerized. It's here. It's wild. It's sweeping the nation. It's Vushigi! That gets your attention, man. Also, I got to say, there's nothing more intimidating than having a group of people behind you just fucking <laughs> rubbing an orb. That is so scary. It literally looks like they're all about to cast a spell on you. We got to put those guys in more commercials, right? Because I don't care what you're trying to sell me. If you got a group of guys behind you just fucking holding a silver floating orb, I don't want to find out what happens if I say no to you. But uh, a lot of the commercial is uh, random people giving like um, testimonials to the camera about what they think about Fushigi. Like this scene girl. Fushigi, like, I don't know what it is, but it's the coolest thing ever and I can do it. And then this guy's groundbreaking observation. It floats. <laughs> it floats. Hey, good job, guys. Way to way to interview the most confused guy ever. It floats. Hey, check out this ball. You sort of just move it around in your hands and it looks cool. It floats? No, it doesn't float, it really. It floats. Okay. And interlaced with these testimonials, uh, there's like sick, cool footage of a bunch of awesome guys doing super cool tricks. While the host, Tim Goey, explains why Fushigi is so cool. We're going to show you how to unlock the secrets of Fushigi, the magic gravity ball. No strings, no tricks. Magic? Maybe. An illusion? You decide. And just fucking obviously the guy who's awesome at Fushigi has a ponytail. This is such a ponytail thing to have. I feel like the more you play with the Fushigi, your hair just automatically morphs into a ponytail. And then they show a bunch of cool tricks that you can do with the Fushigi. With maneuvers like the prayer cross, the enigma, levitation, and so many more. Also, this is a fun fact. I don't, I don't know if you know this, but this is actually how uh, doctors check for lumps and testicles. And it feels awesome. It's like a secret menu thing, though. You gotta, like, go to the doctor and be like, yo, give me that, give me that Fushigi shit. And he's like, I bet. 
<laughs> also, an interesting thing that happens in this commercial, while all the like cool tricks are happening, there's like a paragraph that pops up in like super tiny font. It's on screen for like three seconds, but let's let's go ahead and read it, okay? Experienced Fushigi performers. Proficiency in the art of contact juggling or Fushigi takes practice. Please refer to tutorial DVD for full instruction on how to create the illusion of gravity defiance and floating levitation prior to use. You must be 18 years of age to order. Please read all disclaimers carefully before attempting any Fushigi maneuvers as failure to follow storage and usage instructions may lead to property damage and bodily injury. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How the fuck would it lead to property damage and bodily injury? They're balls. balls. Like, what's the worst that could happen if you don't store and use your Fushigi properly? Look, I'm sick and tired of these bitches <laughs> thinking they're so funny. Ones. Yeah, one second, man. Hold on. Can I help you? Yeah, you can answer me this question. And answer wisely. Where's your Fushigi? Sorry, my, my, my what? My Fushigi? You got something in your fucking ear, buddy? Your Fushigi, where are you storing it? I, I think it's like in a drawer somewhere with a bunch of other old crap. I, I don't know, man. But, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't like what you're doing right now. You should have followed the instructions. Look, man, I can go get the Fujigi if that's what you want. <laughs> oh! Ah, that's hot! Why did I do that? Okay, and one more thing about this commercial. I know companies exaggerate in their advertisements to, you know, entice the consumer. You know, you, you want to say just whatever you can to get people to buy your product. That's what advertising is, but, like, man some of the claims in this advertisement are a little nonsensical everyone loves fushigi and you don't have to be a magician it's relaxing even therapeutic therapeutic <laughs> okay okay cancel your therapy appointments everybody you don't need it you're wasting your time okay why don't you just move that ball around in your hand and and wave goodbye to your anxiety and depression quit bawling in therapy and start bawling <laughs> So that was the commercial that had me by the throat when I was fucking 16, I guess. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> but I wanted one so bad, dude. I just I just thought they were so cool and interesting and magic. You know what? I just turned 28, and the older I get, the more comfort I seem to get from the things that brought me joy when I was younger. A lot of the music I listen to is just the music I liked when I was in high school. The only clothes I buy are like vintage t-shirts from like the early 2000s. And I fucking spend way too much money on Pokemon and Digimon cards, okay? It's all about healing <laughs> your inner child. I hate that term because that makes it seem like there's like a little boy literally inside of me like piloting my every move, you know? Which is crazy, obviously that... That wouldn't happen, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Sorry about that. But like I said, being an adult, it's all about healing that inner child that lives inside of you and controls every move and thought that you have. So I I bought I bought a Fushigi. I I bought a Fushigi Magic Gravity Ball. So in this video, we'll see if it really is as easy as they made it look in the commercial to become a Fushigi. Uh, what did the disclaimer say? An experienced Fushigi performer. I haven't actually opened this yet. So let's go do that and get some first impressions. Fushigi! All right, hello, I'm in my kitchen now. Uh, we got the Fushigi right here. I got the secondary camera right there so we can get the close up. Yeah, man, I I'm fucking, this is years in the making. I'm excited to see what, uh, what we got in here, okay. Thank you for purchasing the Fushigi Magic Gravity Ball. Attention, Fushigi is an amazing skill toy. However, Fushigi will not float on its own. What am I doing this for? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Okay, what is Fushigi? The art of maneuvering a clear or reflective sphere through mind and body isolation and manipulation that seemingly create the illusion that the, sp the sphere may be defying the laws of gravity, whereas the resulting actions and movements of the subject performing the manipulations give the appearance that they are consequently reacting to the sphere as it seemingly moves on its own. Hey, what? One question. Pardon? Could have just been like magic ball. Ball, ball go magic. Ball go magic time. Always practice with your Fushigi over carpet. Maybe they mean like put a towel down 
in case like you get someone wet, you get them so wet from your Fushigi skills. You know? That's probably what they mean. Never use Fushigi outdoors. Never use Fushigi outdoors. Also, hey guys, you spelled Fushigi wrong. Your own fucking thing and you spelled Fushigi. <laughs> Good job, guys. Maybe I'll, yeah, I'll put like a dish towel down. There, a dish drying mat. So if I drop the fushigi, it's all good. So I thought for this part of the video, I'll just do like first impressions, see if I can do tricks right off the bat like they said in the commercial, and then we'll go to the DVD. All right, we got the DVD still in the case, as you can, as you can see, and we got... <sighs> fushigi. Oh my God. Yeah, it's heavy. So it's a little scuffed. This has definitely been fushigged before. But it comes with a little uh, carrying case, which is nice. A little ball sack, if you will. <laughs> All right, let me pull up the commercial again. I wanna see if I can do the, some of the moves like right away. With maneuvers like the prayer cross, the enigma. The enigma, okay, that looks pretty easy. You just sort of like. How's this look? Is this shit floating or what? Okay, what's the next one? Levitation, and so many more. Levitation, you sort of just... Whoa, it's fucking floating and shit. Whoa. Like, I don't know if it looks cool on camera, but should I try to do the one where it like rolls on the, the arm? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. How the fuck do they do that? This guy's got four balls at once? Too many balls. So. Oh my God, bro. Oh, oh, man. Man. <laughs> Obviously I'm a novice, so I don't know how to do it right off the bat. How about we take a look at the DVD and uh, see if we can find out any secrets to the Fushigi. Let's go. For the next few days, I watched the Ponytail Man from the commercial walk me through how to become a Fushigi pro. Uh, the first thing I learned is that the Ponytail Man is named the Amazing Kenny. I'm the Amazing Kenny. I don't think that's the name that was given to him uh, at birth, but that's really funny. So I'm gonna pretend that it is. Immediately born and they knew he was gonna be a Fushigi pro. Kenny went through the basics of Fushigi and taught me some pretty simple tricks right off the bat. Unfortunately, the last half of the DVD focus on tricks that require two or more Fushigi balls. Obviously I just have one, you know? If I wanted to play with two balls, I just hop in the shower. But it's good marketing, man. Uh, you, you make the kids think they want the Fushigi and then they finally get it and watch the DVD. And on the DVD, you're like, no, you need two. You need you need four, four actually, four. sorry. But I will say I was pretty shocked that the tricks themselves are actually pretty easy to do, but the real learning curve is making the tricks seem fluid and natural. And that learning curve is steep, okay? It's thick, It's a th these balls are thick. Oh, and the yeah. more I watched the tutorial, the more I realized that Fushigi is more of a dance than a magic trick, because it's not the actual like move, it's how you do it, you know? You can teach someone a hundred different dance moves, but if they don't practice and like find out their own way how to make it look cool, then you're just gonna look like a weirdo. You know what I mean? So that's how I thought about it going forward. It, it's good marketing, you know? I thought it was magic, but it's a dance move, okay? Fushigi is a dance move, changed my mind. It'd be a lit ass party, dude. You go to the club, set everyone dancing, they're just like, <laughs> you know, grinding your Fushigi on each other. That'd be, be kind of cool. One thing I can say about this DVD, uh, the amazing Kenny, he lived up to his name. He really did. He is amazing and he's Kenny. He is genuinely like such a good teacher and you can really tell that he's passionate about Fushigi and contact juggling. Honestly, dude, at certain times of the DVD, I had to like snap myself out of a trance, you know, that I was put in by Kenny's awesome balls. I was just captivated. I, I was blown away by the amazing Kenny. At, at certain times I was like, you know what? Fuck stand up. You know, I'm just gonna do Fushigi on stage for an hour when I go on tour this summer. I'm going on tour this summer, you should get tickets by the way. You know, maybe I'll do stand up, maybe I'll do Fushigi. That's up to you to find out, so get tickets. But I watched the DVD over and over again and I took a few days to try to learn these tricks. At times it was confusing. Up, thumb and pointer, switch and down. It's actually fairly simple to do for the prayer hold. Holy moly. Or even have the ball falling slightly forward for this forward roll. So that it go, rolls up to this position yeah, and switch. Fuck? And most of the time it was really frustrating. And then you're doing the wiper. Oh no! Ugh. Looks like I really dropped the ball on that one. 
But as the days went on and the more I practiced, I felt like I wasn't getting any better. I felt like I was just getting worse. Like what was the secret? Why couldn't I do it? Why couldn't I crack the Fushigi code? And they say in the commercial that you can start doing really cool tricks right away. Anyone can Fushigi from the minute they pick up the magic gravity ball. So what was it? What was I missing? But then it hit me. I thought back to the comment that I made earlier in this video. This is such a ponytail thing to have. I feel like the more you play with the Fushigi, your hair just automatically morphs into a ponytail. That was it. The secret to Fushigi was right in front of me and it is what could be right behind me, a ponytail. I needed a ponytail. How did I not see it sooner? If I'm gonna be a guy who plays with a magic orb, I have to look the part. So I tied my mullet into a ponytail and I tried the tricks again and this time, it was totally different. I don't know how, but I immediately felt a bond to the Fushigi. I felt like I was half man, half ball, like that one Digimon. I felt like that guy. The Fushigi was now an extension of me. I was the Fushigi, the Fushigi was me. And after a few days of practicing with my new ponytail, I was ready. So please enjoy my Fushigi performance. You're about to be mesmerized. I hope you put a towel down before you watch that, because I'm sure you threw up. Uh, yeah, maybe Fushigi isn't my true calling. Yeah, sure, maybe if I had a few months and nothing else to do, I'm sure I could get pretty good at it, but I think I know when something isn't for me. And I'm sure y'all wondering, uh, was it therapeutic? And, um, now that I think about it, no. Not, like, not even remotely. Not even close. I think, I think I need therapy now because I'm fucking so angry that I can't do the tricks that they told me I'd be able to do right off the bat. I don't know, man. I guess they're right. Never meet your heroes. Uh, especially if your hero is a silver ball encased in acrylic. I don't know, man. I, I just feel foolish. You know, I, all those years I had an idea of what Fushigi was in my head. And now I know it's just a lie. Fushigi? More like Fushigi. Like, not real. I mean, it is, but you know what I mean. They said you could do the tricks easily. You can't. And you know, I'm almost fucking 30, okay? I have patience. If I would have got this 12 years ago, when I was 16, I would have thrown it in the trash like five minutes after I got it. Realistically, I probably would have turned it into a fucking bong somehow. But oh, if yeah. I could just go back in time and tell 16-year-old Curtis that it's not worth his time to fixate on buying one of the Silver Surfer's testicles. I honestly don't think I would. I'd probably just kick his ass for being such a loser, you know what I mean? I'm feeling really emotional right now. I think I just need a, a minute and a bit uh, to just collect my thoughts. So how about we hear a word from today's sponsor? This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Folks, I've been eating HelloFresh every week for like more than two years now. And it's honestly become such a big part of our week. It's easy to get caught in the cycle of ordering takeout every night or just making pasta for like the fifth day in a row. But HelloFresh broadens our meal horizons every week with new, fresh, seasonal recipes to choose from. And HelloFresh recipes feature produce that goes from the farm to your front door in under a week, which means their spring menu features the season's freshest flavors. And you can even customize your favorite dishes with their new Hello Custom offerings by swapping out one protein or side for another, or even adding a protein to a veggie meal. So you're getting the exact meal that you want every time. And I know meal prepping and cooking and everything, it can be time-consuming 
and stressful. But with HelloFresh, step-by-step recipes are super easy to follow and pre-portioned ingredients help me cut out prep time so I have time to go do the things I actually want to do, like get outside and enjoy this nice weather finally. And with HelloFresh, you're not only saving time, you're saving money. Because HelloFresh is up to 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant. And as hard as it is, I'm always trying to eat healthier. And HelloFresh allows me to do that with their veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to make it easy to eat healthy. And also super delicious at the same time. And this all sounds great, but it's about to get better. HelloFresh is hooking you guys up with an incredible deal. Just click the link in my description or go to HelloFresh.com and use my code CurtisTown16 for 16 free meals as well as three surprise gifts. Yeah, 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. You heard me. Like I said before, I've been eating HelloFresh for years now and I, I swear by it. Like I honestly cannot recommend it enough. So I hope you guys check them out because you're getting a great deal and it also helps me out when you check out the sponsor. So everybody wins here, man. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and so many others in the past. Back to me. Thank you for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. In conclusion, the Fushigi is a capitalist wet dream. Taking something that already exists, repackaging it as something new, and then lying to the general public so you can sell as many as you can and run it into the ground until the well runs dry. I mean, good for them. They probably made a bunch of money. They were probably, uh, you know, balling after this. And as much as the Fushigi was a letdown, I'm sure not all the products that I saw on television that I wanted as a kid were this bad. So leave a comment. Let me know if there's any commercially you remember of like a weird product or something that you really wanted uh because maybe i'll make another video like this because this was a lot of fun even though it was really heartbreaking i had a good time also like the video if you enjoyed it because believe it or not one like equals one fushgi that i will throw into a volcano press the subscribe button if you want because i make a video all the time and as soon as you press the subscribe button you become a valued citizen of curtis town if you didn't know curtis town is the best place to live in the world and i'm the mayor so you have to be nice to me it's the law. And if you want to be nice to me, you can buy tickets to my tour, my stand-up comedy tour that starts next month. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to a bunch of places all over the United States. Come support your boy, man. It'll be a lot of fun. And you can find my social media shit down there too. It's all good. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, I would stick around, but I have to go. Uh, I have to fist fight Tim going. See ya. He's freaking out. He's like, who's this cool guy? <laughs> <laughs>